Hello and welcome to SeanSings.com N82 review. First off, well here it is, the Nokia N82 Imaging King. The N82 is a 3G phone so we very much get the basic um, functions okay, and uh, features in the typical 3G phone. Okay, first off will be the trademark front VGA camera, okay, the light sensor and the well speaker. Okay, the N82 is a candy bar phone, so we very much get the standard keypad, numeric keypad at the front, which is um, kind of small to press on and see for such big fingers like mine. Okay, over here we have the answer key, okay, the hang up key, left and right menu buttons, menu, cancel, and the Nokia fast access menu button, they call it. Okay. Dominating the front of the phone is the 16-bit 2.4-inch screen, which is um, not exactly the biggest we have in the market, but does fit the profile and size of this phone pretty well. As you can see, dominating the front of the phone is this rather chromey trim at the side, okay, which I find goes quite well with the matte plastic exterior. Okay, okay, so much for that. Okay, now let's uh, talk on the buttons at the side of the phone. Okay, on the right of the phone, okay, we have uh, the stereo speakers. Okay, we have one on each end, and contrary to having another in the N95, okay. Okay, the good thing about having the speakers at the side um, is that, okay, when you have to place them in a typical user setting, you know, forward or you know, backwards, okay, the speakers are not covered up, so you get the best in volume, you know, in ringing. Okay, second um, button here is the camera button, dedicated camera button. You can press it to start, or alternatively, you can you know start the camera up using the sliding the lens cover itself. Okay, this is the quick um, okay the album button, which is uh, allows quick access to your last shot photo, and uh, the volume keys, which also doubles up as uh, the zoom keys in camera mode. Okay. Okay, and to the top, uh, we have the power button and the 3.5 inch power, um, 3.5 inch audio jack, which, um, which actually is a very, I mean, personally speaking, I like them at the top rather than at the side. You know, like in the N95, they are like, you know, the, when you have them in a the pouch or in your pocket, you know, the top is a good place to have it. So I'm glad that Nokia actually have it at the top this time. Okay, um, on the left of the phone, okay, we have. Uh, the mini, I would say mini, micro USB slot, okay, this is a new standard, okay, which is, um, I believe came out from Motorola, coined up from Motorola quite a few months ago. Okay, it actually uses a much smaller pin, okay, to sync through USB, okay. This is very much bigger compared to uh, our standard mini USB ports here, which I have over here, okay. So the bad thing is that you can't use all your existing mini USB cables like you know from your MP3 players or your thumb drives etc etc but well, I believe um, this is something we have to live with during this transition period but I think it will be uh, very much a standard to come in the near future. Okay in the center here okay we have the micro SD slot as you can see um, pops up the little cut yeah, right there you really need fingernails to get this out. Yep, up, oh. and in again. Okay, that's the cover does it uh, hold it on pretty well. Okay, then next, uh, last year we have is the um, power, the power jack for charging. Okay, onto the back of the phone, it's uh, rather plain, and you get this nice glossy uh, rib plastic, you know, with some. Yeah, you can't see the ribs there, but this some fine ribs there. Okay, dominating the whole back um, of the camera is the five megapixel camera with Kaosia's optics, specifically the Testa two point five and five point six. Okay, you can start the camera using lens cover, as you can see. Close it up now. Okay, the thing which uh, makes this N92 shine as an imaging king is the presence of a xenon flash. Okay, it's really 
mean it's like standard in camera screen contrary to less flashes so it does split take night shots pretty well okay in the back phone let's um, put out the battery cover okay it's the bp 6 mt battery which is um about a thousand yeah, 1050 mAh battery, which is actually 200 mAh, okay, about 150 mAh smaller than the NRD5, but considering the smaller screen and the smaller profile, I guess, this smaller battery will actually fit the profile and uh, the power requirements of the phones quite well. Okay, let's turn it on. It will vibrate there. As you can see the screen. Standard Nokia startup. Okay, and here we are the standard Series 60 startup screen. Okay, with uh, the standard shortcut buttons uh, to do Wi Fi, etc. etc. Okay, I won't be going much into detail on the menus, but as you can see, it's actually rather well lag free. Okay, it's um, not bad speaking yes, they have engaged games installed okay just started up it's actually quite good speakers are quite loud okay let's just get it up let's just try that again and you can just hear the volume Okay, enough there. Okay, let's um bring up the let's see how loud this baby can go. At a maximum ring tone setting. Let's go. loud but still very much bearable okay let's start the camera okay let's go into applications and there we have it okay the lens cover is shut so naturally the front camera yep comes let's just open it up There we have it. A bit. Just take a picture. Okay, maybe I should actually take something. Yeah, as you can see. Xenon flash is really powerful. Okay, the other interesting thing I like to highlight about the the N eighty two is the um, is the full utilization of the built in accelerometer. Okay, so it's very much like a Wii mode if you call it. I mean, yep. Okay, so to demonstrate it. Okay, see portrait mode. Now I'm in landscape, and it goes into landscape mode. Bring it back up again. Portrait mode. Need eh? Uh, too bad the N95 didn't support this uh, out of the box, but I guess we can always do well with um, the body programs. But a uh, good thing Nokia made full use of this in the N82. Okay, I can show a number demonstration. Okay, portrait, landscape, automatic. Need eh? Okay, I guess. Um, that very much wraps up the my little review of the N82. Okay, do visit shonsung.com. That's s h a u n c h n g dot com for more updates and reviews for gadgets to come. I'm Shonsung. Take care. Goodbye.